I've been coordinating the uh, MAD culture outreach program for several years now. Uh, everything started in Banff in 2009 at a uh, workshop uh, First Nations and Mathematics organized by Melania Alvarez. Yeah. And the idea of the workshop was really to put uh, a group of uh, academics, group of elders, and group of teachers, mostly from the ZEPs, together to discuss uh, 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 common ground, how to introduce and teach and present, and how to promote mathematics to indigenous learners. And uh, among other conclusions, uh, something that really resonated with me was that mathematics, we should introduce mathematics to learners early, early and that there should be a con cultural component mm -hmm. in, in what we do. Mm -hmm. And that was a really uh, uh, the philosophy has been philosophy of uh, the program over the last how many nine years now. Uh, so we started uh, with uh, creating uh, uh, animated films. Our hero is a small number. He's an indigenous boy who is always in some kind of trouble, but because he knows his mathematics, he gets out of trouble. So we created, so far we created nine stories. And uh, maybe the true legacy of our project is going to be that uh, those stories, they've been told in nine different First Nation languages. And I, 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 I find this as actually as, as a big compliment to the whole program that uh, uh, our narrators and, and these nations uh, accepted our stories and they were willing to tell tell the stories in their languages. But uh, creating these uh, videos and uh, sharing them with the communities is just one part of the program. Uh, we do uh, school visits over 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 last nine years. The program visited about two hundred and fifty schools across uh, uh, BC and Alberta. Wow. And of course, the school, schools are not only schools on, on reserves or schools for uh, indigenous learners, uh, but uh, we use really this, this spirit of, of storytelling, really, to introduce mathematics to everyone who wants to listen. And we meet with, with students from kindergarten to grade 12. Uh, the main idea of those uh, uh, workshops is, or actually there are three main components. One is uh, uh, no fear mathematics. No fear. We would like to show mathematics as a source of joy rather than, than source of fear. And, and I think that what I have learned from, 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 from uh, elders that I met over the years the way how they present uh, themselves helped me really to <laughs> build, build this storytelling component of our workshops in a way that really resonates with, with young people. Mm -hmm. Another component of the project is hands-on activity. And that is, uh, again, something that I really learned from, from uh, some of my, my indigenous collaborators. That that uh, uh, doing hands-on activities always helps to communicate actually ideas. And uh, so films, uh, school visit, we also organize uh, a year uh, annually uh, one day workshop for uh, grade 11, grade 12 students. We invite about 100 students, uh, indigenous students across BC to come for one day of uh, science uh, here at Simon Fraser. And the, the idea that really here is to introduce to these students Simon Fraser University as a place that has everything really to support them if they decide to go this way. We do this always uh, in coordination with uh, SFU's Office for Aboriginal Peoples mm -hmm. and with SFU's uh, uh, Indigenous Student Center. So it is uh, uh, really our, our joint effort to promote uh, higher education among Indigenous learners. 
Uh, another component of, of this uh, uh, program is uh, uh, organizing uh, summer, uh, we call them uh, academic uh, uh, camp for indigenous learners. In, in, this pro in this part of the program, we invite Aboriginal students from grade 9 to grade 11 to come for uh, a month of mathematics and English in the morning and various activities in the afternoon. This is again done all in coordination with the SFU Office for Aboriginal Peoples and for, with the SFU Indigenous Center. We, for this camp, we always have a quite a few uh, guest speakers that are coming from various communities, indigenous communities, mostly mm -hmm. from the Great Pleasure of Vancouver. The overall purpose of the project is really to promote mathematics. You know, we started really, we were inspired with this BAMF uh, uh, workshop, but I think that now uh, the, the, the program is with kind of a wider aim. We use what we learn really from, from, from various indigenous collaborators to promote mathematics among general and population. Mm -hmm. Often, Oh, that is almost a rule. We are invited to visit public schools by Aboriginal uh, resource teachers. No. And in a way, our program is is uh, helping actually actually uh, those teachers to be visible in their in, more visible in their in their schools. Uh, so, and and there is also one thing that, if I may share. Uh, uh, I, I, I like, during my visits, I like to remind students from kindergarten to grade 12 that if they live in British Columbia at this point, then the indigenous culture of uh, uh, First Nations here in BC, BC is also part of their culture. And better if, if they are aware of this. The stories uh, are created by my colleague Mark McLean, uh, professor of mathematics from UBC and myself. And we started really in 2009 at that BAM. And our first story was inspired by a narration of Rina Sinclair, an elder from Sixika Nation. Mm -hmm. She told us a story about her own childhood. And uh, that was a, a really our inspiration for the first adventure of small numbers. And our first translation was really in the Blackwood language. Uh, then other stories uh, were inspired, mostly, I have to say, mostly with, with my interaction with various uh, 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 indigenous individuals and communities. And almost everything that is in, this, in those stories, I've seen or I've heard in this way or the other way. But we also do our research, so we, we we know that we are talking about very sensitive issues. So before going public, we do our research, we find as many sources as possible that will support our story that mm -hmm. we would like to tell. But also we run this with, uh, uh, by, by the members of indigenous communities. Uh, and so far, so good. I mean, it, it, seems, it seems that our stories are, uh, they have life on their own. And, and I know that, they, that they've been used across Canada. If I may share with you one an anecdote. I had an opportunity a couple of years ago to meet a, a, a young teacher. And she told me that she was a, a teacher in a small community in North, a Cree community in Northern Quebec. Mm -hmm. And she said that she showed uh, our films that were in the Cree language. Uh, to, to her students, and she was teaching kindergarten grade one grade two. And the feedback was that they liked the movie, or the movies, there are a few of them in the Cree language, but they said, they said, they know it was Cree, but their dialect is different. Mm -hmm. So that kind of, they couldn't understand. And, and just that image that somewhere in North Quebec, a group of kindergarten <laughs> <laughs> kids could could connect this this yeah. little story, you know, that was made on this part of the country, uh, with with their own language, and to experience that there is Cree with a different dialect yes. spoken 
somewhere else. I think that is also a contribution to, 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 to our society. Sure. I would like to think that in, in our stories, uh, 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 one can see mathematics in every scene, in everything that was uh, uh, said there. The plot is always mathematical. We always finish with an open-ended question. So we really leave a space for, for the teacher or whoever okay. want to use this, you know, to build uh, whatever they need for. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that uh, a person here at Simon Fraser was uh, uh, doing her master's and, and her project is, was really about how she implemented uh, uh, these stories in her class. And in and, 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 and this paper, she describes actually how uh, uh, she needed time really to find a way how to use the stories to communicate mathematics with, with uh, students. So it is not that our stories uh, themselves are enough. To, mm -hmm. you know, they're a resource. And I hope really that we have enough space, that we leave enough space for a teacher to uh, use the stories in any way. Uh, there is also this component. You know, uh, the program has been around for several years. Mm -hmm. So I get invitations to meet with teachers. I always try to bring some of my uh, former indigenous students as volunteers to those, those meetings. So we are uh, really uh, uh, trying to reach out, not just to, to students. We are trying to reach to the wider teaching community with, with this program. Again, you know, this is a learning experience for everyone. You know, it is not that we have uh, uh, many answers. You yeah. know? But we have, maybe we have more experience than some others. And what we do, really, we share our experience with the community. And it seems that that community needs at least this as a conversation. So first, what is success? The fact that we've been around for nine years, is that a success? The, 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 the fact that our films, they've been used across the country as a resource and they're connected with, I don't know how many uh, school, schools or school districts or, or uh, resource sites, is that a success? No. The, the, the fact that our school visits for a year, I, that, for example, for this year I was completely booked by, by the middle of August last year, no. that uh, our volunteers uh, 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 use this experience really to start uh, uh, promoting uh, various indigenous co causes themselves. That's success. Probably it is, you know. But really, uh, if you ask me personally, what is a success? You know, I was uh, <laughs> just two weeks ago. I was uh, uh, visiting uh, uh, a small reserve close to Williams, uh, not close, two hours away from Williams. Mm -hmm. You know, in the, really in the middle of nowhere, a small school, and the principal asked me to visit, to, uh, uh, to meet with all 50 students in the school, you know, from, uh, uh, they have something for four years old, uh, heads up or something like this, to grade six. No, and I met with I met with everyone, you know, and uh, uh, wonderful kids, smart kids, you know, well behaved, well kept, beautiful school, welcoming teachers. Uh, obviously, it was obvious that that uh, the school is also a community center. You could see parents involved. You could you could you could see that that the school is 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 part part of the community, and you could see happy kids there. But, uh, so I was asked to meet with a group, there were four or five, uh, four-year-olds. And how do you communicate mathematics with four-year-olds? How do you talk mathematics with them? No? And how do you keep their attention for half yes. an hour? <laughs> <Don't get it. laughs> uh, their teachers were there. They were two, two, two wonderful women there. So, but, you know, I have in my mind, I have this particular 
uh, 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 boy uh, showing me on my banner, you know, triangle and rectangle and counting. And I think that was maybe one of the happiest moments in my professional life, mm -hmm. just to be in that position to, 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 to support the obvious intelligence of this, this young boy. And for me, that is maybe the biggest success, really, that I achieved in these nine years, to be there for that kid. The project is, is based, really, what I learned about storytelling. You know, you know I go to and and, and uh, if I was better prepared, and, and my memory is not as good as it was before, I, I would... Uh, uh, Rina Sinclair is one of those storytellers, but... Uh, there was there was another lady here from uh, from SFU. Her first name was Evelyn, but I cannot recall her last mm -hmm. name. She was a blackwood also. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way how they were telling stories, you know, that is the really the format that I'm using. I, I uh, you know I visit a school. I'm there for for a day. I visit a class. Kids that never seen me. And that they're not going to see me probably later in life. And just, just using, <laughs> using this what I uh, learned from Rina and Evelyn to build a story about who you are. You know? And it works like a magic. You know? <laughs> the teachers are always surprised that kids are talking back to me in, in, in a few minutes. You know? and, and, and I don't know how I can thank to. to 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 Rina and, and uh, Evelyn for sharing really their knowledge with me. You know. There is another another elder that influenced me a lot and influenced everything that I do big time. That is Betty Wilson from Clammy Nation. She's been collaborating. We've been collaborating for 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 several years. She told uh, I don't know how many of my stories in Siamo language. But also, she was she was so kind to share with me uh, her uh, uh, knowledge about uh, 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 basket weaving. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, you know, if you look for mathematics, for for, for uh, I call I call that functional mathematics and art. That's, and, and all that is a part of, of what we do, you know, that what we learned, we would learn, I would like to share with the community, and I've learned, I think, I'm still learning, but uh, 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 what I learned was so valuable for myself. So I'm not sure if I'm answering your question, <laughs> you know, but, but for sure this program wouldn't be here if there were no elders willing to share their knowledge with me and allow me to use it in, in, in the program. So our math camps, our, our, our summer camps, mm -hmm. uh, they were really introduction to uh, uh, so many students, introduction of the post-secondary education for so many of our, our students. Uh, one, one, one thing that I'm very proud of, that in five years of running this program, we didn't lose a single student. All students that started the program in, at the beginning of July over the last five years were then given a closing ceremony. And uh, not, not everyone is going to go to university, but I'm sh quite sure that uh, we at least opened them up for, for that thought. And also, I mean, and this is, I think, important to say that. We do everything together with the SFE Indigenous Student Center and SFE Office for Aboriginal mm -hmm. Peoples. So we show to these still in high school Aboriginal learners that if they decide to come here, there is support for them. And that is maybe actually the, the most important message that uh, we were trying to, to communicate with those kids. Um, and uh, if uh, uh, something that uh, for sure is going to stay after this project is the fact that we recorded uh, so many of these small number of films in First Nation language.
countries. And I think that is going to build the legacy of our program. I know that uh, those films, they've been used actually in language classes. One of my collaborators uh, uh, from the Squamish nation who is actually teaching the Squamish to a group of, of learners here at SFU, he told me that these films are a great resource because they have an image, they have sound, and uh, there is a transcript with all each yes. of these. So I think that that is that is maybe a small but a contribution to to indigenous education, and not just I, 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 not just indigenous education. I would say I would like to think that by 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 doing this, we are contributing uh, 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 to the whole Canadian society. It is, it is, it is at least in my experience two ways three. We are building community also. You no, know, we are, we are, we are, we are, uh, we are building connections, you know, between Simon Fraser and various communities. And as as an outcome, that is not dire directly a, a part of the program, but it wouldn't happen without the program. Uh, we had a, a very recent uh, collaboration with the Tlami Nation. And uh, they kindly allowed us to uh, make a computer model of their baskets. And uh, this is going to be a great uh, uh, learning tool. At the same time, we are preserving, we are preser pre preserving uh, part of this tradition. So this is, this is the latest technology that we can think of. And a group of students led by Professor Sedic Shaw here from uh, my department. They created an uh, uh, app that you can actually build a, a design of a basket that uh, resembles uh, climbing designs. Yeah. You know? And that is an, well, another outcome of this project, of, of that side of the project, really, that uh, uh, through, through our collaboration, we've been able to build a trust between between Simon Fraser as an institution and, and uh, various communities.